another video guys and this is an exciting one for me to make it will be featuring my new lenovo thinkpad t470s business class laptop you might say that i got a new laptop a couple of months ago and uh, if you saw that video of course you would be absolutely 100 percent correct let's move on i will start with the specifications of my model and what i like about it and what i would like to see changed my system has a Intel Core i5 7300U CPU with uh, integrated HD graphics 620. It also has 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM running at 2133 megahertz. It features a beautiful full HD 40 inch touchscreen, which is a first for me, the touch part. The computer has a great selection of ports on each side, which is nice to see Apple. So how is the computer to use? I write a lot on my laptop. So let's begin by talking about the keyboard on this machine. And I have to say, it is amazing. It has great travel distance with clear white backlighting that doesn't blind you from the edges of the keys when it's dark. It is a pleasure to use for long periods of time and with Microsoft Office 2016 being optimized for touch, I can correct misspelled word with a touch of the screen. So that is nice too. If you type a lot on your uh, laptop, this is the machine for you. The only problem I have is that the backlight is manual and uh, it's off by default. So you have to press the function key and the spacebar to turn off. I really would have wished that they could put a light sensor in like the MacBook do and uh, have it be auto. But uh, I guess I have to wait for the next model for that to happen. The uh, only other thing is uh, the function key that is in the bottom left corner of the keyboard which uh, I would like to see changed in the future because I'm so used to control key being in the bottom left on every other computer that I use. So it's just stupid of them to put the function key there. Other than that, it is perfect. Let's talk a bit about the screen on this laptop. It gets super bright for daytime use and more importantly for my use, it gets dim as well. So if you live in your mom's basement, just like me, you can type away all day long with this machine. And I really mean all day long. If you use the balanced power plant, you can keep typing for well over 5 hours, which is the longest I typed for, until I charge it. Lenovo has included the iconic mouse nipple if you like to ch touch nipples all day, but I'm more of a touchpad guy myself, which could be better, but it's totally usable. The main issue I have with it is that I have to press harder than I'm used to for it to register my clicks, but I will probably get used to it with some use move over to the performance of this machine. This is by no means a gaming laptop, so if you went into this video expecting it to be that, this is not the computer for you. That being said, I did try gaming on it. I ran a couple of games. I ran Dirt Rally, CSGO and Rocket League. I also have Cinebench results for you to check out. Surprisingly, I was able to run Dirt Rally and actually have fun while doing it. And I have to say that the Intel 80 graphics isn't too great, but it's come such a long way since the last time I used it, that uh, if you're doing gaming, light gaming on your computer, you can get by perfectly fine. I had to run the game at low settings, but it managed to achieve 34 FPS on average, which is pretty respectable. All these results are with the charger plugged in, by the way. Rocket League was a different story than I'm used to. It's usually one of the lighter games that I run. But on this system, it's uh, pretty broken. I don't know what's happening, but uh, it dips all the way down to 7 FPS with a uh, average of 32 FPS, and it was literally unplayable. I don't know what's happening. I ran the game at 720p, so it should be running better, but uh, I couldn't get it to run uh, consistently over 30 FPS. So uh, if you play Rocket League, you better get your desktop or a better laptop. And of course, I tested everyone's favorite shooter, CSGO, which is a pretty easy game to run, and uh, that is reflected in my results. With an average of 49 FPS and a minimum of 49, and also a maximum of well over 100 FPS, which was kind of surprising for me to see. So uh, CSGO is pretty playable at 720p, of course, at full HD it wasn't <laughs> that really that playable, but uh, yeah, if you don't uh, expect too much of... Uh, this system, you can actually have some fun with it. And at last, we have everyone's favorite CPU benchmark. Uh, this is the only CPU benchmark I ran, and uh, it's the only 
synthetic benchmark and uh, it got 266 points on the CPU and 33.69 FPS in OpenGL. So uh, that isn't too good. My Intel Core 2 Quad from uh, 2008 actually gets better score than this one. And that is nine years old by now. So I'm hoping that the newer series of Intel processors get the boost with the next generation. That is pretty much it for this video. If I have any updates, I will put them in the description. So keep an eye out for that. This is a system I'm going to be using a lot. And if you're considering buying this laptop, keep checking the description for probably like a week or something if I have any updates. It is a really good laptop that you really should consider if you're looking for something like this. Otherwise, have a nice day, evening or morning. Man, I should really get a new intro. Oh, I mean outro, I did the same in the last video.